Hello everyone, welcome back to KitK Photography. This is your man KitK and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do screen retouching right in Photoshop. And today we are going to use the advanced KitK retouching pack. So if you don't have it, you can check it out on my digital store. It's very affordable to everyone and many more digital products which you'll be interested. So let's dive right into it. So what you are going to do is you are going to duplicate your background to take out the blemishes and you could see on this model's face she doesn't have a lot of blemish but let's still work on it so you can go for your uh, spot healing brush tool to do that very fast as also time convenient yeah so do some time and when you are taking blemishes don't only focus on the skin yes the dress and any unwanted parts of the image is also necessary so for this stretch marks when brushing we can smoothen it out but to for us to make our work much more easier we can take it out with the spot healing brush too yes so there's not much work to do here uh okay all right let's see let's see let's see okay this we are through good so the reason why i choose this image to work on today is because of how sharp it is yes i shot it with my canon es6d with a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens all right so let's give the action a single click and then it's going to access for our Gaussian blur radio so i'm going to use 5.0 for this particular image right here because i want to keep textures or i want to retain textures at the same time smoothing the skin and five is the right figure so five falls in so five is like an average so once you select it you just press ok and the action continues for you good so this is how the action looks like so for me i retouch on the empty layer but if you still want to retouch on the blur layer you can do that yes so i'm retouching on the empty layer it has a lot of good advantages yeah and then there's the settings for this you have to take the sample or layers for the action to or for the effect to show on the skin on the skin yeah so this is my mixer brush settings if you want me to do a video on solely on mixer brush settings just comment in the comment section i'll grant your access so yeah let's dive into it you just turn off your high layer for you to brush nicely so when brushing uh take your time don't mix up anything so you brush shadows separately same as highlights also separately and then you could see there's um transition from the highlight to the shadows yes when you reach to that transition edge you can mix it in a circular form yes, just to blend in good so you know you have to master how to brush for example for this face we don't go this way because the face falls we come down yes move down, up down up down up down yes if i'm to explain it in the basic form that's what i will see yes and do you know i have a photo editing course on my digital store for beginners yes for amateurs as well and if you're a beginner if you are a professional you want to add something small to your skill you can go check it out it's really super packed and educative as well yes it has helped lots of people in our era now yes so it's very affordable i'm not going to lie about that yes so you can go have a check for yourself and then purchase and in that way you are supporting this channel as well and don't forget to subscribe if you've not liking as well and commenting and lastly sharing yes so when you're brushing be careful Surely, if you are not that confident with the brush, as you are going to make skin tones anyhow. So, if you are using a webcam, this is going to be a lot easier for you. Yes, but if you don't have a webcam, you can still be in the game. Yeah, just have to know your way around the corner. So, like I said, if you want me to explain solely on mixer brush reason why we do certain settings over here 
just coming to the comment section but i believe most of us by now have gotten that kind of uh education so yes if not to you can comment in the comment section and i'll show you how i do mine yes So you see, I'm brushing or I'm painting due to how the skin moves. So it's not like I'm on the cheeks and then I'm moving zigzag or something. Or in the name of I'm brushing. Yes. So that's what differentiates a good retoucher and a beginner retoucher. So if you are learning from my end, you can skip to that level. Yes. With constant practice. It doesn't happen overnight. Yes this thing i'm doing right here it took lots of practice consistency and so on sacrifice and stuff to be that good so don't be discouraged or try to give up because you did one some time ago and it's not working yes just keep practicing just keep practicing if you give up you are going to regret you didn't you didn't push a little harder so like I say, don't give up. Just continue practicing. Get a mentor. If you want me to mentor you, you can hit me up on Instagram, vibe over there, take it to WhatsApp, and then we continue there. And like I said, I have um, a WhatsApp and a te Telegram channel. I'll put both links in my description so you can join. Yeah, we have a chit chat on certain uh, discussions, challenges. As you face as photographers yes you can join a discussion and then grab a thing or two yes but i don't know that's where you get your solution from as a creative yeah so today's video is solely on retouching just retouching yes i'll making other future videos so that's why you have to stay tuned subscribe and if you want to be the first to view my videos too Turn on the bell notification icon. Yes, just give it a single click. And anytime I drop a video, you're going to get a notification on your phone that GitK has dropped a video. So go check it out. Be the first to go check it out. Yes. And mostly when my digital product comes out, it's for free for the first three days. That's so you have to always be updated to grab the opportunity and those those time limits are limited yes so sometimes you might see free on my youtube channel thumbnail but once you get there you realize there's a price tag on it yes so you have to be always very very active over here yes i have lots of products over there which you'll be interested So we are still brushing so so far let's see what we've done this is what we've done this before and after before and after before and after retouching is to enhance the image not to destroy it yes so if you are done retouching your image is looking something else you should know there's a mistake somewhere and start over and that is why retouching on an, on an empty layer is very good because you can just delete or use your eraser to clean certain aspects you feel you did a mistake and then continue you don't have to delete the whole action layers but for example if you are working on the blur layer or the low layer if you make a mistake you have to delete the whole folder the whole layer group sorry and then start it all over just imagine yes so I recommend you retouching on an empty layer and these are the settings, so this particular settings for retouching on an empty layer and turning off the high FS2, yes, that is where the textures are being located, the skin textures. I'll do a video explaining frequency separation in my future videos. Yeah. You can also make a request for that if you urgently need it. Yes. Alright, so let's keep. 
Like I said, you can support the channel by purchasing from our digital store. Yes. So I'll be doing some thing very soon. We'll be ranking our customers, our stock, our store customers. I think monthly on this channel. So if you want to be seen in there, you can take your chances. Yeah. We appreciate the support you guys are giving, the likes, the views, everything. We do appreciate it. And I'm sure you guys are also appreciating my time over here. Giving out what I know to the community. Yes. So when brushing, take your time. Yes. So far, we are done before and after and there's one thing you can check through and see where you've brushed and where you've not so you can press on all to activate that kind of uh, effect yes so you can still go in finish certain parts yeah you see that is the importance of the empty layer so imagine if you are using the uh the low layer you couldn't do this effect and you will not even see it yes good so we are through and lastly we are done but there's one thing we have to do you know when you brush you leave certain brush strokes on the skin so i have a tool that's going to help you uh smoothen out those strokes and that is the last of two these are the settings for it the feather i put it above 15 times yes just to feather the edges of the selection good so we are going to select the forehead gently not too close to the hair good and then uh minus this part good and then go to filter blur gaussian blur and then input a figure of 20 Yes, mostly 20 works for me. People will be like times it times three or something. But like I said, if you break rules and it works for you and it's following the principles, do it. This is my style and it works for me. So you press enter. And then you apply the same effect to any part of where you retouched. Yes. So if you apply it and the effect is too much, you can reduce it by right clicking and choosing fade. Let me do it once more for you to see. So you select, and it's too. We it's too. Let's say we do it, and it's too much. Right click again, come to fade Gaussian blur, reduce it to your preferred percentage. Press on OK. Yes. So repeat same process again, and then we continue. Good. So let me see the chin. Okay. Good. So if the effect is too much, you can reduce it. Good. We did the next two. And then lastly, the arms. Yes. So, like I said, if the effect is too much, you can fade it. Yes, you want to keep it natural as possible. I will always be saying this because I see a lot of retouching out there, and it looks very, very toyish or too smooth. Yes, and that's not how the human skin is. At least we have textures on our skin. Yes. Come to the thumb to repeat same process. So you see it's moving to the jeans, take it out. You press on alt to get the minor selection. Yes. Good. So far, this is what we've done. So if you zoom in, we've retouched it all right, but 
there's still textures on the skin yes there's still texture on the skin so yeah that is how you do skin retouching in photoshop yes and you can do that with the aid of my git care advanced git care retouching pack yes to help you do that it's really really super pack yeah it has about 20 actions for you you to become a pro retoucher yes. don't forget to subscribe as i said earlier i'll keep on saying this because i really need them and don't forget to like as well sharing as well yes and thanks for watching peace out